What most people don't talk about, and we like to use this iceberg analogy, is everything below the car and below the charger. And that's really everything that you need to do to make sure that you have energy uh, at the charger and into the car at the right moment. E-mobility is digital and e-mobility or the EV charger is just the tip of the iceberg. And uh, that basically means that uh, EV and uh, e-mobility is going to change everything we know so far. We are leaving the largest macroeconomic shift of our lifetimes and in fact probably of, of quite a bit with the disruption of both energy and transportation at the same time. To drive an EV I think you, you, you've done it and I hope that you, you, you did it but to drive an EV it's a super cool thing. I mean it's, it's, it's very fun to drive as the acceleration is good, there is, uh, it's smooth, it's, uh, there is no, uh, no noise. I mean it's, it's super cool. What are the concerns uh, that you had to address you know, five to seven years ago versus what are the concerns that you're having to address today? And on top of that, what are the what are the roadblocks? Um, the customers ask a lot about mileage. They didn't know which type of vehicle to buy. Apparently Renault had nothing on the market, so they, <laughs> they had to really ask uh, questions about it and uh, questions about the vehicle. And that changed a lot. So now they are um, asking more about how can I integrate it into the building? We should design for you know, covers and for value to the site host partner. We should be just the consultants and really uh, deliver something that works for them. No EV adoption will happen without shaping and changing the behavior of all drivers. How to be sure that we can, uh, um, let's say, follow the trend and not to do some big mistake and follow the trend properly uh, uh, and to have the two or three times the growth in the, in the EV market in, in Europe every year. That is requesting from, from our side much more quality, much more robustness, much more uh, uh, availability of, of the charger. This is probably the, the greatest challenge we have in the, in the next few years. What is the impact of digital on all of this EV charging infrastructure topic and how do we scale? Digital helps us to really get more planning tool and more planning and more um, value to the customer in, in terms of understanding uh, on their side. And they will, with a digital channel and digital tools, they will much easier have an automated way of getting their complete EV or e-mobility experience. What is going to change is where people fuel and it's going to be where people go, you know, at home, at work and for the destinations. Why uh, we probably will need some uh, subsidies from uh, from the public authorities or how to really be sure that we secure uh, long-term infrastructure investment because really it, it's challenging.